Now, as I've said, PPP supports two types of authentication, PAP or CHAP. Challenge Handshake Authentication Protocol is the recommended method, and it does provide two-way encrypted authentication, which is much more secure than the standard PAP. What you have to think about with the Challenge Handshake Authentication Protocol is that when the line comes up, the access server on either end is going to issue a challenge message. Once the challenge has been issued, the remote end is going to respond with the results of a one-way hash function using what's known as a Message Digest 5 or MD5. And the beauty of the MD5 is that it actually takes the local username and password that's defined and it feeds the password through a hash function and then sends the results of that hash function to the remote end. The remote end is going to perform the same exact function on the same password and then compare the two results. Now what this does is it prevents the actual password from being passed across the network. Since a hash is defined as being irreversible, meaning that even if I had the hash, it is not feasible for me to reverse it to get the original password without something like a brute force attack, it does make that type of connection much more secure. But one of the things that you need to bear in mind is that beyond simply changing encapsulation to PPP and setting the authentication to CHAP, you also have to have a username and a password to use for the process. Now these configurations are reciprocal, meaning that both routers are going to have to have a similar configuration to allow them to be able to authenticate in both directions. So you need to make sure, in some cases, that you do have multiple usernames and passwords defined on each router. By default, the router will use its own host name, whatever is defined as the username. If you need to change the host name, you could do so with the PPP CHAP host name and then identify a different name to use. Make sure that the different names specified are also specified in a username entry for this to work.